You speak French, Mr. Angel? <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn. Few actors working in Hollywood today can claim the admiration, curiosity, and respect that this man, Mickey Rourke, can. He is, without question, one of the hottest young actors in the business. And in the opinion of those qualified to judge, one of the best. A former pretzel pusher on the sidewalks of New York, he is today being compared with the likes of James Dean, Marlon Brando, Robert De Niro, and even Humphrey Bogart. I got a good look at you and you're an epiphany. Doing your hot shoe number with the chicken. And listen, it's a story with this uh, proud foot girl. She's a mambo priestess like her mom has been since she's 13. Hey, what about the chicken foot in the john, huh? It means I got a big mouth. Not big enough, Dutz. When director Alan Parker was searching for a star for his provocative new detective thriller, Angel Heart, Mickey Rourke was at the top of his list. Well, I've always been an admirer of uh, his acting, um, the, just the naturalism and the, the, the truth that he gets out without seemingly to work at it too hard. I also wanted someone who wasn't the conventional hero, and I think he fits that bill. He can be evil, <laughs> but you always like him. There's an incredible charm to him, even when he's doing things which uh, maybe he ought not to be doing. In Angel Heart, Rourke plays a down-and-out private eye on the trail of a missing person. The search takes him into the eerie world of voodoo and the occult. I think it's the kind of movie that as I, as the, as the character, find out what's going on, the audience is going to figure it out about the same time, and that's what makes it real interesting. In Angel Heart, Rourke co-stars with Robert De Niro, one of those near legends he is often compared with. Well, you know what they say about slugs. No, what do they say about slugs? They always leave slime in their tracks. It was the first time I think I ever had to really concentrate in the way that I had to concentrate, because he's the most concentrated actor I've ever seen, and he doesn't, you know, if you like, lose your concentration with him for like four seconds, you're out of there. So like, it was, at the end of the day, I was drained. For all the talk of his surging career, ironically, Rourke admits to having been turned off on acting. However, the opportunity to work with De Niro and Angel Heart has changed his mind. In the last couple of years, I'd lost a lot of respect for acting and really didn't think good think about so. it, you know? And then working with him, sort of rejuvenated me and maybe gave me a few more years to like it a little more, you know? In the opinion of director Alan Parker, Rourke's performance is a match to that of Robert De Niro's. And as an actor, he has never been better. But Mickey is always different. Every single take is different. And he's always finding something within, even if he, if he makes a mistake within a scene, if he knocks something over, if he drops something, he'll use it. He's always working. He's never off, he's never off his character. You ever watch the Mickey Mouse Club? Because you know what today today is? Today is Wednesday. It's anything can happen today. You got beautiful eyes, Epiphany. 17. At only 18 years of age, Lisa Bonet is one of the stars of TV's smash hit, The Cosby Show. And now, she is co-starring in her first major motion picture, Alan Parker's provocative detective thriller, Angel Heart. This guy favored. He was friends with your mama back in New York City before the war. Yeah, she never told me. My mama had a lot of guys. She liked men. He's floating around. Ironically, Louisiana. the fact that Lisa is one of the stars of TV's hottest series had nothing to do with Alan Parker's decision to cast her in the role. I'd never seen her in the Cosby show. I mean, I knew she'd done it, but I'd never seen the show. I still haven't seen the show. I auditioned every single young actress that would fit the role, uh, both in New York and in Los Angeles. Uh, out of that process, you pick the best person, and uh, she was the best, and I went with her. It was really strange because he has this camera that he keeps on his shoulder when he's interviewing you, you know, and he's, you don't know where to look. And I just went in and I read the sides, and I was actually less prepared than I should have been and um, I think that kind of helped because I was just, you know, very understated. And uh, that's, you know, what he said that he liked. We don't go around murdering people, all right, Mr. Angel? What about your Johnny favorite? Oh, so now uh, you remember him after all, huh? Yeah, he was my father. She's 
incredibly intelligent about what she does, but she doesn't quite know why she's doing it, so that it's instinctive and intuitive. Uh, she doesn't know, to be, know how to be untruthful on screen because there's no technique getting in the way. In Angel Heart, Bonet plays the challenging and bizarre role of a rural Louisiana voodoo priestess. I'm learning a lot about myself, you know, just exploring different areas that I've, you know, never would have thought of. And it, it, the funniest thing is that I can get away with it because I'm playing Epiphany, but what I'm really doing is finding out more about myself. Before accepting the role, which does contain some rather controversial scenes, Lisa talked with her TV boss, Bill Cosby, about taking the job. I said it's very controversial, and there's some nudity in it. I have the script here if you'd like to read it. I would like to do it. What do you think? And that was it. And he said, you know, I realize that this is just a job, Cosby, and I know that all the kids can be erased just like that, because that's how this business is, and it's called The Cosby Show. And if this is what you need to do, go right ahead. So she took the role and has impressed virtually everyone, including the star of the film, who is one of the most highly regarded acting talents on the screen today, Mickey Rourke. I was very happy to work with her because she never did anything like this before, and it was a very hard role for her to do, and she helped me out because she was so good, you know, she made my job easier. I really mean it. The girl's got a lot more talent than I think people in the industry have any idea. Obviously, people in this business are taking notice. Next fall, Lisa will have her own network TV series, a spin-off from The Cosby Show. Not bad for a young lady who is honestly not sure why she has been so successful. First with Cosby, and now with Angel Heart. To be here, I don't know what I did. Someone in my past life, something, did something great. I have no idea. Good karma. I don't know. From the very moment his movies begin, it is obvious that you are witnessing the work of a master filmmaker. Alan Parker is considered one of the very best, acclaimed worldwide for such hits as Midnight Express and Fame. These are scenes from his latest outing, a chilling and provocative detective thriller, Angel Heart, starring Mickey Rourke, Robert De Niro, and Lisa Bonet. Parker is a Londoner who seems to specialize in making American movies. Uh, I wasn't brought up on British movies or European movies. I was brought up on American movies. I mean, I fell in love with the movies, and they happened to be American. In a way, because of that, that's why I wanted to be a film director. I wanted to be a film director because of Marlon Brando and, and James Dean. Over the course of his career, Alan Parker has acquired the reputation of being an innovative and creative director who selects subjects that are provocative and original. Angel Heart is both, a chilling detective thriller steeped in the occult. I would say it was a classic detective story, except that the private detective is employed by a client, and the client happens to be the devil. Uh, in that respect, it takes on a whole different level and is not, therefore, the conventional detective story. Hey, look, I took on a $125 a day missing persons job with you, all right? Now I'm a murder suspect. That's it. I'm out. Such are the hazards of your profession, Mr. Angel. This film has so many different layers and textures that uh, it's as difficult as anything that I've ever done. There's 72 locations every single day we're somewhere else, it seems. Uh, it's been mechanically difficult with, you know, whatever, rain machines, wind machines, snow, when we don't have snow, all those kind of usual boring things the director has to contend with. Um, and we work very long hours, longer than I've ever worked before, but otherwise uh, the process is the same, you know, it's still getting up at half past six, saying action and cut all day long, and well done, terrific, one more time darling, you know, the process is the same. <laughs> Parker, who wrote the screenplay for Angel Heart, is also an accomplished novelist and cartoonist. A former TV commercials director who turned to movies, his works have been highly honored. Four of his feature films, Bugsy Malone, Midnight Express, Fame, and Birdie, have collectively received 32 British and American Academy Award nominations, four Oscars, six Golden Globes, and a grand prize award at the prestigious Cannes Film Festival an extraordinary record for a filmmaker who admits that his first love is writing and that he started directing almost by accident. I was doing little films whereby 
someone could operate the camera, somebody could work a light meter, someone could work a Nagra tape recorder. Uh, everybody could do something except me. So they said, well, you better say action. So I said action, you know, because it was by far and away the easiest job on the film set. Anyone could say action. <laughs>